been some letters go out for folks in Campbell County about the plan that they have not being available for them next year. And basically Medicare is uh, pulling that plan out of these three counties for ne this next year. I don't know what the reasoning behind that is, but it does affect a lot of people. And what I can do is I can help you understand what those plans are and how they might work for you. Uh, what their options are. That's all I ever do is, is come to the table with more than one company. I'm an independent agent and so I don't have to say take one or the other. Why do my customers choose Husqvarna Power Equipment? That's easy because my landscaping crew has to rely on a durable product. I need the performance and quality that Husqvarna provides. And the innovative products that help me move on with my day. For maintenance parts or accessories, I don't have to go far. I know my Husqvarna dealer is right around the corner. Make the impossible possible and visit a Husqvarna dealer near you. Visit your local Husqvarna dealer or go to Husqvarna.com for more information. Welcome to Ray's Eggs. Ray's Eggs has a friendly service with a family environment. With that country kick, it's a family owned with delicious food. Offering breakfast, lunch, supper all day long and great steaks wonderful salmon. Also, for that sweet tooth, pies and much more. For the kids, games, daily specials, dine in or carry out. Call 423-569-3354. Call Razax today. Riggs Drugs has been a part of Campbell County for generation after generation, serving our friends and neighbors. And now we have redesigned our store to better serve you. It's the same knowledgeable and friendly staff, but a new look and new technology to ensure you get your prescriptions fast. We've always got you covered from prescriptions to all your home health needs. We've always been more than a pharmacy, still offering a huge selection of gifts and decor here at the new and approved Riggs Drugs. Linda Kilgore State Farm. State Farm agent Linda Kilgore has driven to save to save you money on your home, auto, and life insurance. Hi, my name is Linda Kilgore. I'm a State Farm agent in Jacksboro, Tennessee. I have 32 years insurance experience. I have been here in Campbell County for about 21 years. We offer auto, homeowners, life, health, banking, and mutual funds. Come by and let us give you a quote. Doesn't cost you anything. We can answer all your questions and choose the coverage that's right for you. Or see State Farm Agent and Gwen Love. If you need real insurance, stop by and see me at Linda Kilgore State Farm. For all your insurance needs, see State Farm Agent Linda Kilgore in Jacksboro across from Walmart, 423-566-5000, 566-5000. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. If you live for the outdoors, there's a Polaris to match your passion. Confident, comfortable, capable. That's Ace. With a solo cockpit, automotive controls, independent suspension, all-wheel drive, and up to 45 horses of fuel-injected power. Calling it revolutionary would be an understatement. Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. Good evening, everyone, and welcome again to Camel County Issues. Tonight's show is also being brought to you by True Value Homes in Huntsville. Folks, Keith Kothfelter is manager or owner of that uh, True Value Homes in Scott County, and he has a deal for you. You own property, you can get in a new home. You can get in that new home right away. If you own property and you have a clear deed, you can get in there and you know it's that property sitting around doing nothing but costing you taxes. So I give them a call, 663-8633. That's a 423 uh, exchange. Also, Tennessee Outdoors, folks, if you're, uh, if you like deer hunting, there's so many deers in Scott County. I don't know where they are over here or not. I know that at one time uh, I, I seen a bunch of them at, down at the golf course, but uh, they're, they're everywhere in Scott County. They're just too many. So you can get everything you need to deer hunt and tur turkeys everywhere anymore. This year I've seen more than I've ever seen. Many, many. So go over and, and, and run by Tennessee Outdoors. you got all that stuff. 
and folks, they got the that jumbo that I was telling you about. That. I checked to see it's got all kinds of goodies for it, and it's made for two people, uh, and it's eight hundred but eight hundred something about dollars. It's just really a nice one. You check it out, and also Ron's golf carts and <coughs> indoor flea market. You know, I don't know how many times I could tell you in, 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 in different ways. But this gets you to believe what I'm telling you. You have to go. You just have to go and see it to believe it. A man, how clean he keeps the place. He prices everything. And and if, if he's not in the front, he's in the back working. Just give him a holler and run by and tell Ron that I sent you. Uh, uh, folks, at least two or three things that uh, I was going to talk to you about tonight, but I don't know. I, I just want to talk to you about whatever you want to talk about, but there's this one thing since I came here at, and I, I've read the paper. I don't know whether to hold off on it for a, a 30 minutes to an hour. To people can, I, I just can't believe what I'm reading. And and I, it's very disturbing to me that, that what I am reading. And it's in the... The Christian Journal, and it just will uh, it, it blows your mind, and and let me just make sure I I've got everything in place before I start talking about it, and I don't know how many of you heard anything about it or whatever, but a lawsuit, county sued again, and. I can say this story is a story that uh, it's bothered me more than any story I've read over here other than whenever these children are mistreated. That's how, how bad this one is. It says county is sued again, but just let me just uh, uh, read you to uh, what uh, the lawsuit's saying and what's bothered me the most is according to the lawsuit in December the 3rd, 2013, Shackley, which was the ambulance director, uh, discovered that off-road diesel fuel has been sold through Rice Oil Company distributors to Camel County Highway Department. Now, the, the Highway Department usually purchases the fuel that's used by county uh, owned or run vehicles, and I guess even the buses. Uh, and, and here's the diesel fuel, but now I'll listen to and let me read this. What he is accusing. Now, and I'll get back to what Mr. Morton did to Mr. Shackley, whether I don't know whether that's. True or not, it's, this is going to this is going to get blown up. It's going to be unreal. It's not going to be. Excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. It's not going to be the lawsuit that Mr. Shackleton has sued Mr. Uh, Scoop, sued the county for. He's sued the county for dismissal on. January the 6th in 2015. The complaint was made in 2013. So that was a year. Well, yeah, it was a year because 2014 was the election and and uh, E.L. Morton didn't take the office until August in 2000 and or September 2014. I believe that's about. I'm pretty sure of that. So this has all happened on 2013. That uh, dirty fuel was purchased and delivered by Rice Oil Company and placed in tanks in Camel County's tanks 
fuel tanks at, and had been purchased at as a clean fuel for on-road vehicles and delivered dirty and how long has this been going on? According to Mr. Shackley, it must have been going on for quite a while. So, could the superintendent of the road department knew that, that the purchase was and, and should have received a bill of clean fuel, which is a much higher price than dirty or dry fuel, which is it's not supposed to be run on the highways at all. So let's let me read this to you. Well, let me get this to where I can see it. I'm going blind. Now, even the way the light's shining on. I'll get it here in a minute, folks. It says, off-road prices, but off-road, uh, on-road uh, fuel was being delivered. Or off-road fuel, I can see it now. Off-road fuel was being delivered. Shackley also disclosed to Campbell County government that the use of off-road diesel would void the warranty of four new 2013 ambulances that had been purchased by Camel County. So, and, and those ambulances, and that's a half a million dollars worth of ambulances there are more. So if they use, just use uh, that off-road fuel, maybe not two or three, it did, or it could have, could have, might have been using it for a year, it could have been just one time or whatever, but still that uh, makes that invalid for their, uh, well, uh, you know, you get a guarantee on these things for a number of miles or years, for, especially for diesel. Uh, automobiles or uh, engines and he says there's four purchased and there's 13 and this has happened in 2013 but Mr. Shackley was dismissed January the 6th in 2015 now what went on from 2013 or 2012 or 2010 or whatever? What went on with the fuel? And he's saying that Rice Oil Company, and I don't know who Rice Oil Company is, or I don't know uh, or anything, but all I know is the allegations are here. It's in uh, the Christian Journal. This county is sued again, and anyway for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars and mr morton is is being uh i guess made part of this lawsuit because he's the one that did the firing in 2015 and i don't know you're on the air uh, that's, his name is Shekels. Shekels? Shekels. Okay. And if I don't know, I'd, I'd like somebody else to call in that knows a hundred percent. I'm pretty sure that, uh, maybe Otis Mundy owns that oil company now. And that would be like big old up the valley. You know where I'm talking about? Yes. I mean, but the oil tanks by the railroad tracks is where it all comes out of right there. But, you know, a funny thing was, is, you know, that's where I get my Christian Journal every Friday. And, you know, he didn't carry the Christian Journal this week. Refused to take it. Who did? Uh, uh, Otis, Monday, up here, Big O. Oh. So, when he refused to take that paper, I, 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 
Mm-hmm. That's quite a bit of war. A little bit of war. But the thing, this is implicating that the, uh, uh, well, the superintendent of the highway department, road superintendent, because that normally is the ones that purchases. Yeah. Well, if it's a deliver, so I mean, they need to get it all in there. The deliverer of it, too. He, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He knows if it's him, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking pretty highly strong with him. I, I was wondering Friday why he had no longer wanted to carry that newspaper. He always carried that paper. Well, I, now, I, I'm not accusing anybody. I'm accusing nobody either, but it was a funny thing to me that he, he refused to take his newspaper Friday. You know, he... He, he owns all the marathon, uh, you know, distributed gas around here. So, I know if somebody knows, because I sure would be curious to know if that's who owns that. But if he, if he knew that, hell, he should be held a little bit liable on that too. What do you think? Oh, I, I think if, uh, seriously, if, if, well, I mean, and I'm going to tell you right now, uh, uh, the road superintendent, a good friend of mine, thank the role of him. And I don't know that, uh, I mean, it, it, there should be some accountability there if they were actually paying for uh, good uh, oil or good diesel and it not being somewhere along the way, there has to be some responsibility for that. And, and this happened back in 2013. Now, why, why would it not been made public before now? Uh, exactly right. And then... That, that's just all it smells, don't it? Oh, it smells to high health. Well, well if, if you can't get a collar tonight out there to know if I'm correct on that, because it really bothered me why he didn't have my paper down there Friday. He was in the parking lot down there, and I made it known, you know, because I was told he refused to take them papers. You know, and I buy it there every Friday, and that's no joke. I shop there. I buy all my fuel there, I'm dead. I buy all my cigarettes there, dead. But I no longer will. But I mean, and if this is the case, I don't, and like I said, I don't know, he might not be the owner. I'm pretty sure he is. Well, they, they, I mean, there's so got to I would like somebody that knows for sure. There's got to be some responsibility yeah. for, for, for I, more than one. On both ends, on both ends. I mean, so because that just that kind of smells from both sides of the so, sides of the barrel, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, okay. Appreciate your call. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, uh, You're on the air. Uh, yeah, and with the mic, so that's good for Joe to be the Christian journal. Uh, I don't know if I had Mr. Elvis Monday Friday when the paper came out. Mr. Elvis Monday phoned my office and demanded that we remove the papers from all of his gas stations, which are free. So uh, we have to remove the papers. And if you read in the article, article says it is illegal for an oil company to deliver off-road fuel and put them in a on-road tank. Right. According to state of Tennessee, Okay, go ahead. And that, that, that's about it. Uh, so the papers are not going to be in Mr. Monday's store from now on, and I want readers to know that <laughs> they can go somewhere else and buy it, obviously. Have a good night. Thank you. Oh, I'm, and, and, and whenever I read this, folks, it just absolutely floored me because uh, it's not just the county is sued. The, the the timeline is just would drive you crazy because so many people I mean, it's absolutely the county is not supposed to own any tanks that's for off-road fuel you're on the air yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I could be wrong I think most that happened under uh, here's the uh, clock uh, you know He's uh, running with the muscle thieves, so. Uh, well, I, I'm, that's not, that's not my, my, my intent here is not to get in the middle of that, but. Well, the taxpayers can, can speak, you know. I know you just, uh, you're independent, but uh, there's 
to be I mean, this thing absolutely has to has to touch a bunch of people for the simple I mean a lot of elected officials a simple uh, I mean how many buses do you have that that uses uh, diesel fuel uh, uh, and it not I mean the, the whole ball of wax the whole implications and it's saying uh, if a lot of people didn't know about this they weren't doing their job and if they knew about it uh, they probably need to be in jail and this is big I mean this that just uh, the 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 lawsuit for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars is just a drop in the bucket just a little drop of the implications of this article yeah yeah that's right uh, there's been some crooked stuff going on for a long time but you know most people just turn their head and you know shut it off but you got the uh, you got the Republicans, Democrats both that's uh especially you know on the right so they don't never steal they don't do nothing wrong now that's the whole majority you know they're well, this, right they, this one you know, this one stinks to high heaven, and I'm telling you, folks, you have to you have to get it to read it and and, and read it slowly so you'll understand it. Appreciate your call. Okay. You're on the air. I, I, I'm glad Mr. Swinsky called because I, that that kind of uh, uh, nails what I was thinking on that. But I want him to know that I will be down to his office tomorrow to purchase a subscription to his paper. So he's not going to lose my business on that paper because he's the only honest one in this town that will print that stuff. And I hope and pray to the highest thing above that they get it from both ends now because that, you, you said it stunk a drop. It stunk to, it stinks a whole big barrel full. I mean, and I hope that they, that they get to the bottom of it. Because somebody definitely knows. You don't deliver it without it being known. Did you say it? Shakey's? Shekels. 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 Let, let me just read this for the people. Shekels stated that dismissed Stern from his refusal to participate in and or remain silent about illegal activities involving Campbell County. Yes, sir. Now, if that if that's true, I mean, <laughs> Mr. Morton needs to get him a quick, get him a real good lawyer. Oh Lord, and I mean, go from both ends, both. But, and I tell you what, you take one from a Mercedes back down to a real pickup truck real quick <laughs> if it turns out that way. If so. it turns out that way, I'm because uh, uh, this. And I hate to don't don't want to issue you know which ill will on nobody. But now, if they've been putting the screws to you knowingly, so what does that mean on anything else they do? Is they going to do... Go ahead. What else? You know? I mean, so, well, he, he's even... In this article, the way I'm... He's implementing the how the, the uh, 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 superintendent of uh, roads, the highway. I know it. Well, it, I, it, it's the best I recall. My memory, you know, I'm getting old. They're pretty good buddies, them two fellas are. You, you know you know your buddy that used to be in there? Yes. Okay. And the man that owns the oil company, they, they're pretty good buddies. The best of my knowledge, they're pretty good pals. Well, I don't, I don't know about that, but all I know is this uh, this is going to upset the apple cart. Well, I, I, I hope that it... I hope that it reaches, and, and did you see who the attorney is on it? Yes. Okay. Well, there's more even underlined with that, you know, too. So that's well, I've been trying to find out some stuff about Now, uh, I wonder, and I, I'd just like to, uh, uh, does that same delivery, do they deliver to La Follette? To the uh, to, uh, to the city of Lavalley. Yeah, to the that, that I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's who they buy their their products from. Well, this, I mean, uh, that that needs to be looked. It, I mean, it, 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 this thing is is broad. I mean, broad, broad. It's big, Andy. Big. You talking about big, Andy? <laughs> well, yes, yes, you, 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 I, Mr. Swinsky, he's got his business. I mean, I, I love it. I mean, I love it for printing and having the. Behind 
man about it, about the good and bad word, I'm sorry, uh, about pregnant. You know, uh-huh. that's why I enjoy his paper is because that's the thing about the man's paper, it tells it. Uh-huh. So he don't, you know, he don't cut no corns, he don't sugarcoat, and he don't, uh, I mean, you, you know, he tell, tells it how it is. So, and I appreciate him, but you tell him he ain't going to lose my 50 cents. Hell, I'll give him a dollar a week. <laughs> I'm going to give you $5 a week right there. <laughs> That'd be fine. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Well, thank we'll, you, buddy. Uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back after these words from our sponsors. You know, I talked with a lot of people this week that had that Medicare plan that was going away, and I ended up talking to them a little bit, and I found out that they got the QMB. You know, the little, that's a pink cardboard card that pays your co-pays when you go to your doctor. That pink cardboard card is will entitle you to get the extra benefits you hear me talk so much about. And I've run across several people this week that got into their wallet, and lo and behold, they pulled out one of those, and I said, aha, did you know with the pink QMB card in Campbell County, you can get your dental and your vision catalog and a catalog to help you with your over-the-counter products at no cost. And that dental coverage is comprehensive. It's not just your cleanings and checkups. Why do my customers choose Husqvarna Power Equipment? That's easy, because my landscaping crew has to rely on a durable product. I need the performance and quality that Husqvarna provides. And the innovative products that help me move on with my day. For maintenance parts or accessories, I don't have to go far. I know my Husqvarna dealer is right around the corner. Make the impossible possible and visit a Husqvarna dealer near you. Visit your local Husqvarna dealer or go to Husqvarna.com for more information. Raise Axe has a friendly service with a family environment. With that country kick, it's a family owned with delicious food. Offering breakfast, lunch, supper all day long, and great steaks, wonderful salmon. Also, for that sweet tooth, pies, and much more. For the kids, games, daily specials, dine in or carry out. Call 423 569 3354. Call Raise Axe today. Riggs Drugs has been a part of Campbell County for generation after generation, serving our friends and neighbors. And now we have redesigned our store to better serve you. It's the same knowledgeable and friendly staff, but a new look and new technology to ensure you get your prescriptions fast. We've always got you covered from prescriptions to all your home health needs. We've always been more than a pharmacy, still offering a huge selection of gifts and decor here at the new and approved Riggs Drugs. Hi, I'm Linda Kilgore. This is my 35th year with State Farm, my 25th year here in Campbell County. I'm not a high pressure salesman. I like to just sit down with my customers and help them decide what's right for them. Thank you and I hope to see you soon. The 2015 Mule Pro FXT. The Mule Pro FXT is engineered to smooth out the most rugged terrain. Over eight and a half inches of suspension travel make uneven surfaces feel a lot less jarring. While a tight 16 foot turning radius combined with electric power steering means easy and effortless cornering on a dime. Engine braking is tuned for a controlled feel when heading downhill and high output LED headlights light up the way. Round out this exceptional package with the maximum stopping power of front and rear disc brakes. And there's almost nothing the Mule Pro FXT can't handle. The 2015 Mule Pro FXT. Okay, we're back. True Value Homes bringing you tonight's show. And folks, I, I just can't tell you how beautiful some of those homes are. And you can get them from any size. And, and anything that fits your pocketbook in most cases. So check them out over in Huntsville. Uh, Ron's Golf Cart, uh, they got the North Face jackets and rain jackets. Uh, they have a uh, golf cart, so they got, and, and a, just a good place to go browse around. And you know, you can't get out in the wind and the rain and stuff. That's the flea market right down there. 
It's a great place to go. I go down there and sit around and just talk to Ron for 30, 40 minutes every week. You're on the air. Kyle. Yes, sir. You need to get a hold of Dennis Potter. He was the first one that started buying the diesel, and he can give you all the information that you need. Okay. At, at, well, uh, yeah, I think I still I might still have Dennis's uh, phone number. I'm not sure, but it might have been. Uh, but that that that's something that needs to be. Uh, it's going to touch a lot of people. Not only that, it's got to touch. Uh, it has to touch your uh, finance department, your mayor's department. I mean, this, we're talking about 2013. Now, this was 2000, December, he, according to the, the lawsuit, is on December the 3rd, 2013, that Shekels, S H E C K L E S, Shekels, uh, discovered the off road diesel fuel had been sold through Rice Oil distributors through the Campbell County Highway Department. And that's big, folks. You're on the air. Uh, okay. Um, uh, this is Mike Savinsky again. Let me bring something to your attention. I got a quote from my article. The lawsuit stated that as a matter of law in the state of Tennessee, no person shall do, sell or deliver dyed diesel fuel or diesel contaminated with dye when such person, such as rice oil, knows or has a reason to know that the fuel will be used in motor vehicles on a public highway, end of quote. Which means Mr. Monday was well aware that the county did not have a tank to uh, store off-road diesel, and yet he delivered the off-road diesel to be used in on-road vehicles. Furthermore, when you really look at it, when how many people when they pump the fuel into their tanks, the vehicles, look at the color of the fuel. Right. Not looking. Yeah, I don't pull the nose or other other so the road department, I'm not blaming really not road department. I'm not blaming mayor. I'm blaming a person who sold the fuel knowing that that fuel would be used on road vehicles. Furthermore if you want to know more about this, believe me, I intend to follow the story and I have a documentation to, for next two weeks, maybe even three, if I can fit them in two weeks, they're going to be in two weeks. I want to have more that will really raise a hair on your back. And this is actual documents. So uh, just stand by. Okay. Have a good one. Okay, thank you. Uh, no, I and, and 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 I'm not definitely not accusing my friend. I'm I'm accusing. I'm saying whatever happens, even somebody, uh, if I purchase, uh, uh, let's let's just look at this. We probably purchase, uh, I don't know, probably a million dollars or more worth of fuel each year, and if I can uh, just save ten percent, that's a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, I, 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 all I'm saying is, if, if I'm purchasing a, a million gallons of fuel or a million dollars worth of fuel or whatever, I don't know how much it is, but I guarantee it's big. I am responsible to make sure that I receive what I pay for. And like you said, Mr. Zawinski, you can tell the difference in summer gasoline, winter gasoline. There's different colors. And, 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 and diesel fuel that has dye in it is, and according to your records here, Mr. Zelensky, that dye fuel is not to be run because it's a different grade. And, and those, uh, and, and I'm not a mechanic. For, for sure, but the motors for, uh, I guess, um, let's say police cars or the, the 
vehicles that's purchased to be used in uh, county government stuff like this. Hey, folks, I bought a police car. It's been about eight or nine years ago. Now I'm talking about a Ford Crown Royal or whatever Crown Royal. I believe that's what they call it. Ten years ago, that and it was probably ten years old then, and it would get twenty nine miles per gallon. Now, why do we can't even? They don't even come to twenty nine gallons a mile now when we buy them for ourselves over here on the road. They 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 are different. They back those engines different, and they sell them. And then whenever they deliver them, they do have a different uh, thing and, and different horsepower. They they there's just a lot of things that's different there. But believe me, if I'm in charge of spending ever how much, I'm responsible for what's delivered. And I don't know this. Once it goes into court, like Mr. Zawinski said, I'm I'm I, I'm going to get the paper just as soon as it comes out. Cause he says you has you haven't seen anything yet, and I just hope to God it that. Uh, that it's not anybody and that it's just a mistake and it can because and this could upset the whole apple cart in your county government I mean this could absolutely it's according to how uh, the ambulance service uh, supervisor what how, how he handles this thing is how uh, Mr. Mundy handles this thing. Sometimes when everything, these kind of things happen, somebody wants to take everybody they can with them. You're on the air. Uh, Mrs. Uh, um, a mistake. <laughs> what? Now, now that's a, like saying slipping on a banana and I've got twins to come. <laughs> that kind of mistake. Now you're talking about something too big to be a mistake, brother. <laughs> now come on. Now that's a lot of a lot of crew going down to the pipes, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just don't see this being no kind of mistake. I was a small, small businessman for a few years and I sure would like to have some kind of insider information on a mistake like this because it could have made things a lot more comfortable for me today than they are. So but I just I just don't think I, I think this right here is gonna Light up some fire. Well, let me ask you a simple question, and I and, and I, I don't want to say too much because I definitely don't want to be uh, involved in any lawsuit or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, they're gonna sue you too for bringing it up. You gotta, you gotta shut your show down after tonight, buddy. No, no, they're not. Because I have a right to talk no, to you. No, I'm aggravating but, Hell, but, I'm a sponsor you. You need a sponsor, you tell me. I'll sponsor you. <laughs> but here's, here's the thing about it. Mr. Morton, um, uh, if how could he uh, shut a person up by firing him? How could he make that kind of mistake? Well, well, that kind of shows some of that uh, election policy, <laughs> that election uh, uh, rhetoric he was going on with uh, about saying, you know, how his job, his previous job, and saying the same things when he was running for office. Kind of don't make sense, does it? No. So, uh, and that's just... Well, now, I, I mean... It well, does uh, bewilder one. Well, uh, now, uh, Mr. Zelensky is going to tell us next week more, because, I mean, I know that the mayor was put in charge of the ambulance service, the uh, garbage service, or the landfill, and something else uh, uh, that coming in and reporting directly to the mayor under Mr. Bear. Wow. Wow. Ain't that just wow? What can one man say other than wow? This, this is going to be big, Andy. 
I mean, you're talking about big. It's going to be big. And I'm telling you, 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 this is, you have finally, you hit month, you hit later. Uh, you, you hit number one crude oil over here tonight, I'm telling you. So I'm going to let you go. See you. See what else the roll with tonight. Uh, yeah, okay, thank you. See you, buddy. You're on the air. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't know that diesel, uh, uh huh. Uh, one of my, one of the, one thing I worked on a lot of diesel myself, and every does the maintenance on the Hamilton should have known when the fuel filters have been changed or whatever that the uh, fuel had different tint to it. Uh huh. And they would have, they would have been aware of that. Of that. I wonder how long they actually used it. Being hurt in the motors, no. The only drawback is there's no road tax on that fuel. Uh, the fuel, the fuel itself. Well, see, here, here's another thing that uh, that uh, the Amlets uh, man says that uh, there was. Uh, I see. Said the repairs to the cost of approximately twenty-eight thousand dollars for the purchase of off-road fuel also raised the question as to why off-road diesel fuel was listed and it, it just goes on more and more and more and more you read them uh, but I've read the whole thing I'm just trying to pick out some things here and and the lawsuit stated that on January the 6th 2015 after reporting the event Camel County Mayor E.L. Morton along with certain other individuals set about a plan and scheme and a device to terminate Chaco for his refusal to participate in or remain silent about the inferior diesel fuel that had been sold to Camel County government. Yeah, uh, it sounds like to me that they just they bought it at a cheaper rate and put the money somewhere else. In. That, that's what it, it's been. He's implementing. That's what he's saying. Yep. And then he, it goes on to say that that uh, uh, the civil penalties could be imposed and resulted in penalties up to ten dollars per gallon yep. that will cost this county for using it. Right, yeah, like I said, they're, they're 35 or 40 cents per gallon of taxes that's not paid on that. My gosh. Woo! But, but, but as far as hurting the Hamiltons or anything like that, probably not, as long as the maintenance was done correctly on them. Uh-huh. Uh, they are. They did not recommend it in because of various, you know, various uh, so, so, you know, substances and all that. Feel like sulfur, low sulfur, high sulfur, stuff like that. Okay, appreciate your call. All right, thank, you. thank you. You're on the air. Forget the ambulances. Forget everything. This is Mike Shalinsky again. Forget the ambulances. Forget everything. Remember the fact that off-road diesel was billed to the county as as on-road fuel. Absolutely. Which means county paid a premium price. Right. Yet, rice oil put that diesel in on off-road diesel in on-road tank. I mean, come on. So we, the taxpayer, paid for inferior gas top price. So, yep. I mean, I mean, absolutely. your pipe and smoke it. Yep. I, <laughs> That's exactly what it's implementing, and but but what I'm saying is I'm just saying that uh, the the implications of this is just could be astronomical, and 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 Mr. Morton, uh, I I would I would love to hear from Mr. Morton and what why and what individuals that come up with a, a scheme of how to shut uh uh I, I i'm gonna call keep calling him a uh s-h-e-c-k-i-e-s shakies that's the way i pronounce it anyway uh i i thinking that that would shut him up it just beyond me but anyway we can talk about something else we've talked about this about 40 minutes and and stirred up a lot of uh uh i guess concerns and uh and I, like I said, I just hope, I just hope it does just boil down to one simple thing. But you can't 
dismiss the the firing of an employee because they just wouldn't shut up over something that's wrong. There, sh there's ha there should have to be some accountability. You're on the air. Hey, big guy. Yes. Turn that clock tonight, ain't you? Oh well, uh, I, I I've been known to mess up every once in a while, but I I, I we you know I've been over here it be uh, 13 years in April and and there's something going on over here and and I've heard complaints and complaints about uh, you know that the government county government is crooked and this but here is the first time that I have seen someone come out here in the paper and absolutely say here is something that is wrong and it's happened, and and it could implement more. I mean, it's gone all the way through the mayor's office. Do you know, do you know much about uh, uh, Zelensky? I I've talked to him a few times. Did you know he he was part of that Walensky labor movement over there in Poland that essentially rose up against communist rule. And and they were probably one of the deciding impetus, impetuses in the overthrow of communism throughout all of Eastern Europe. It all started right there in Poland. Well, yeah, he told me so that the East German uh, it's, it's Stasi or Stasi, East German Stasi, the secret police was after him. The Russian KBG was after him. He is lucky. That he got out of there alive. Well, he did spend some time in uh, as a political prisoner. And he he came as a political refugee to the United States. It's a wonder they didn't put a 22 bullet in the base of his brain over there, because that's how they got rid of their political opponents. They'd have you walking down a hall or something, somebody uh, walk up behind you. Well, well, what was the guy uh, uh, that took over uh, as the president? When they overthrowed uh, Poland, uh, I, uh, m m it started with a neon. Uh, I don't know, but I, all I know is Zelensky is a great man, a man of history, a man who has uh, shared his abilities here in America with good Americans, and I consider him a good, great American, even though I do like teasing about being a Polak, but. Uh, He's he's a great man. He just I have nothing but the highest respect and admiration for that guy. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to his paper next week. Yeah, he'll he'll do justice uh, with the Camel County people. Everybody ought to subscribe to his paper because it's. Uh, well, I thought you didn't buy it. Oh, uh, I bought a little bit of it. Uh, I think I bought a thousand copies. Well, that's that's good. Well, I mean, you know. Definitely not running from this particular issue. I mean, this is. Well, I don't think he actually runs from any issue. You know, he wrote the truth about the word that Adrian Beard slipped and used down there in the county commission meeting in Zelensky. He, he has his own tape. Oh, I know. I mean, he, he knows what he's done. He, he does a good job. Okay. But, so do you. You have a great show. Keep it up. We appreciate you, okay? I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye -bye. Okay. Uh, like I said, I, I believe we've, uh, we've sold a lot of newspapers tonight, and uh, it'll be interesting. And, and Jerry uh, will be here Wednesday night, and uh, you know good and well he's going to dig into this thing. As deep as he can get, as deep as he can get into it, and uh, you'll uh, you'll have another chance uh, come Wednesday night.
uh, my buddy Jerry Chadwell. Uh, but now I want to ask somebody out there to, to give me a little history on Veterans Day. You know, uh, Wednesday is Veterans Day. And a lot of us, I think, and, and, and myself, is uh, it was a, it took a while for me to understand Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Uh, so, if there's anybody out there can and call in and give us a little bit of history on Veterans Day, and take it right up and connect it to Memorial Day. I, I know that the uh, Hazel Valley he uh, is a historian. He liked to check up stuff. And Hester. Uh, my buddy uh, uh, Mario Henson, uh, they do look up stuff like that. And Jerry Chadwell, I don't know. I tried to get in touch with Jerry tonight, and unable to to get in touch with him. I don't know what he's doing, and I don't know how he uh, keeps up with all these meetings and stuff. But he does, and he does a good job with it. So anyway. I like for somebody to call me and give give me a, a little bit of an update uh, on the uh, especially the Veterans Day. And then we'll talk about Memorial Day because the Veterans Day, you know, it's it's not. To recognize the heroics or the people that died in war. Uh, in 1918, at the end of World War One, and it was called Armistice Day. And in 1954, uh, it was changed to Veterans Day. It was actually the signing of the war to end World War I uh, at the 11th hour, the 11th day, and the 11th month of 1918. But now, in 1954, it was changed from Armistice Day to Veterans Day. And then Memorial Day is the day that was set aside to celebrate or and recognize uh, the heroes of, of the dead of of wars. Was that was basically the veterans of of uh, honoring the dead of our veterans. So it, it, Memorial Day didn't start for. Uh, I guess to put flowers on the graves or whatever of every person that died or whatever and that wasn't what Memorial Day was. Memorial Day was to, to celebrate the uh, soldiers and, and one of the things that we do at, at Scott County on Channel 5 or it's actually uh, different channels now for all the cable things it's this channel 42 uh, and channel 120 and channel 5 and channel this. but anyway uh, we every year we uh, take all of our uh, veterans at one at, when we first started we got all the names of the veterans uh, in Scott County and, and the where they were buried and what service they were uh, in. And we run it 24 hours a day as long as there's no live broadcasting going on. And it's been a big, big success. People, uh, this one lady, it, it, and for it to run and, and turn over, it takes uh, two or three hours for all the veterans because we leave it on about five seconds, so people have a plenty of time to to read it. And 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 this one lady called me one night on my TV show. This has been three or four years ago, and she said, 
and, and she said, I sit and watch that when it comes on till I get ready to go to bed just to see my husband's name come across that screen and I sit there and cry. And she said, I do that till you take it off. And that those that makes you feel good. This makes you feel good all over why you that's why you keep trying to do these things and and, and we have such a small market as far as to sell stuff in. Uh, it, it's hard to maintain, but we maintain it, and we've been in it. This April will be 23 years. Okay, you ready to go, buddy? Okay, we'll be back out of these words from our sponsors. QMB is designed for folks on a fixed income. It's a state program administered through the same department that administers the TEN care. And it's just a level above TEN care and it really helps people out. Why do my customers choose Husqvarna Power Equipment? That's easy, because my landscaping crew has to rely on a durable product. I need the performance and quality that Husqvarna provides. And the innovative products that help me move on with my day. For maintenance parts or accessories, I don't have to go far. I know my Husqvarna dealer is right around the corner. Make the impossible possible and visit a Husqvarna dealer near you. Visit your local Husqvarna dealer or go to Husqvarna.com for more information. Welcome to Ray's Axe. Ray's Axe has a friendly service with a family environment. With that country kick, it's a family owned with delicious food. Offering breakfast, lunch, supper all day long and great steaks wonderful salmon. Also, for that sweet tooth, pies and much more. For the kids, games. Daily specials, dine in or carry out. Call 423-569-3354. Call Razax today. Riggs Drugs has been a part of Campbell County for generation after generation, serving our friends and neighbors. And now we have redesigned our store to better serve you. It's the same knowledgeable and friendly staff, but a new look and new technology to ensure you get your prescriptions fast. We've always got you covered from prescriptions to all your home health needs. We've always been more than a pharmacy, still offering a huge selection of gifts and decor here at the new and improved Riggs Drugs. Hi, my name is Jeremy Pierce. I may not be Jake from State Farm, but I do wear khakis. I've been here with Linda Kilgore's office for two years. I enjoy helping uh, people make a decision regarding their insurance based on their needs and wants. I'm fully licensed. I enjoy selling uh, auto, home, and life insurance. So feel free to come in or call in any time, and I'll be glad to help you. full line of independent rear suspension options, the all-new Foreman Rubicon and Rancher automatic DCT models are equally ready to work and have fun. Part of the growing ATV family from Honda. Okay, we're back folks and you know I really talk to you about anything you want to talk about but I do have one other thing that, if you know, if you all would like to discuss it, uh, is Halloween. But first of all, True Value Homes. True Value Homes, it, it, it's, it's just really hard to imagine it. You know, I can remember the first home I ever purchased. And it was really, really hard to be able to purchase that home because to get the down payment to get started back in 1974 as the first house we ever bought and I remember that house was $19,600 and uh, interest rates then was 14% and you're just lucky to get a, a, a loan at 14%. And anyway, to secure that, you had to have a 20% down payment. So you're talking about 
getting a hold of nearly four thousand dollars. It was virtually impossible, but somehow, some way, we actually got a down payment. But now, you know, you own some property, you got a you got a deed, you got a house. I think it's a great idea and Keith Cockfelder in Scott County at True Value Homes, they have it. And also Ron's Golf Cart, they have the North Face rain jackets, they got the, the Ugg boots, the North Face jackets, plus they got this furniture. And I told you last week what happened while I was there last week. This young couple come in and said that they had a problem and they had a very small amount of money and they was needing a uh, a little apartment table and a, a couch and uh, he said there's a couch sitting right there just load it up and take it with you and a good looking couch and she said how much it? he said nothing I'm giving it to you well, that's kind of that's kind of business people we need. Someone that you know, he's part of the neighborhood, and and you have to sit down and listen to his story. He uh, he definitely grew up poor, just like the rest of us, and he hadn't forgotten where he came from. And that's Ron Marlow down at uh, Ron's Golf Carts and, and North or uh, La Follette Indoor Flea Market. So anyway, now the reason I wanted to talk about Halloween a little bit, uh, I was listening to uh, a couple of the, the ministers on uh, TV and they were saying that, that Halloween was the devil's work and they was totally totally against uh, Halloween but folks that trunk or treat whenever I first come over here and I went down to watch what happened with trunk or treat was to me it was very inspiring it was very very uh, special to see hundreds, maybe even thousands of kids lined up in the cold with their gloves on, with mom and dad, probably the only time a year, maybe except maybe Christmas that they go out and do something together, and going around and in the trunk they had different kind of displays and all this and that and I thought it was just super absolutely super so I've been selling that program to everybody that would listen to me ever since I went down there and seen that I was it was just amazing now they're doing it in, in Oneida and they had a big gathering for it in Oneida at, at one of their churches. And I think it, it's, well, anything we can do to get our kids and, and mom and dad's doing stuff together, I think it's a good thing. You're on the air. Hey, Laurel. Uh-huh. You know you can make bad out of anything. Absolutely. And uh, a lot of the other churches, West will call it careful. All of those set up for trunk or treat this year. Yeah, I, I read that. And I think I think that's good because it just keeps the kids off the street and keeps them safe. And I, I just think it's wonderful. You know, people take things to the extreme. You can that's just like you can justify sin. You can make Halloween bad or you can make it good. Uh, I think so too. Well it's like I tell you this. There's not anyone that likes good gospel singing or like to sing good gospel singing uh, more than I do. And then tonight, if you watch Johnny Webb's 
program just for it. And they're singing all around Jesus. Uh, walk around, walk around. And they got happy. Uh, I was sitting over here getting ready. I got happy. So, and but I don't, I don't sing or ever uh, sing with the gospel groups because uh, and whenever I was over here, you know, and I brought my gospel tapes in and I sung gospel songs, well, people were kind of like crazy saying I didn't have any right to be singing gospel songs. You've got, you've got as much right as anybody does. Uh, well, but there's some That's people out there that definitely didn't think I did. That's your privilege. That's your privilege. Because I love, I love to sing. God know. I love to hey, sing God's my music. Week, Sunday, I'm judging people, and we're not the judge. Yeah. So nobody knows but you and God, and you've got more right than anybody does. Appreciate you. Got more right to sing gospel music than some of the pastors and preachers do to stand in the pulpit. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to comment on that. Appreciate your call. But you need to come down on a Friday night and sing gospel music down with us. We'll welcome you with open arms. Oh, you got Katie's? Yes. Okay. Appreciate your call. Mr. Wayne Pitts would love to have you sing songs with him. <laughs> okay. 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 Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're on the air. R.L. Uh-huh. I am uh, 50 years old. And we're living in a different time now, but I really think the trunk or tree is uh, a real great thing because it does keep the young ones off the street, keeps them from getting hurt. Uh, if they've got their parents with them or a, a, a guardian or somebody, you know, to watch after them, I think the trunk or tree is great. Now, when, when my parents were taking us, that was, like I said, back in the uh, mid-60s, early 70s, and uh, we are within a different time, but uh, I do think the trunk or treat is uh, a real good thing. Yeah, I appreciate that. Appreciate your call. Now, I'm going to tell you, uh, I think it's super, not only um, just to have mom and dad standing there and holding them little kids' hands and them just jumping up and down and so happy, can't wait to get something. You're on the air. Hey. Yeah. I want to disagree with your last caller. I, I do not agree with organizations and government taking over Halloween. <laughs> it was more fun when we got out there on the streets back in the 1950s. <laughs> Well, I told them, I told them. Uh, people's outdoor toys. <laughs> we just, you know, and now government's taking over. Now. Well, wait, wait, wait. The church is uh, taking over. No. The government's not taking over. What are you talking about? Oh, wait a minute. Now, since government's taking over Halloween, I have a suggestion. Since Thanksgiving's coming up, I think all these churches and businesses will follow it. Thanksgiving Day put tables down there in that parking lot behind the city hall and serve a big turkey Thanksgiving dinner for anybody who wants to come and and uh, participate in Thanksgiving run by all the local organizations and churches. Uh, 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 that would not be a bad thing. Let me tell you though what happened. Yeah, let's, let's keep everybody out of our homes on Thanksgiving. We need to get everybody out of their houses on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Oh, we got kids off the streets. Now let's get everybody out of their home. We, we, uh, we. They lay around and watch football and, and enjoy Thanksgiving dinner at home when they come down behind the city hall, have a big gathering, and all your local politics. Well, now, if you had a big enough tent or something, you wouldn't want to have it just outdoors. <laughs> even even the uh, uh, pilgrims. You uh, pull your leg, don't you? Oh, yes. You know, everybody likes to say that crazy old fellow from Hazel Valley. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the but Well, I have to agree with them, but... And then, then we'll have to start working on Christmas. Well, let, me tell you, let me tell you what. We should have Christmas down there behind the city hall. Huh? You know what I did for, for Halloween whenever I was a kid? And kids, do not do this. Please don't, don't listen to what I say on this one. But seriously... Whenever I was a kid, and I bet you there's others out there that just like me. 
there was there'd be a, a four or five of us. We'd get us a either a, a good uh, axe or a cross cut saw, and we'd be looking for the biggest tree closest to the road that we could find to cut across the road, so we would, <laughs> couldn't go to school the next day. School bus couldn't run. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was a good move. I remember a couple of years ago, you had a you had a show where everybody could call in and tell their story. Yeah. And Mr. Henson called in and told about blowing up some cord somewhere with some dynamite. Well, that was up here uh, uh, near <laughs> Duff. Hey, great show. Keep it up. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah, uh, but anyway, I, I just anything that we can do to get families to do things together and watch the kids let them enjoy life when you can and but just set aside a few of those days and, and go do them and I'm, I'm certain that there's, there's some of them out there that you will remember and glad you done it you're on the air several years and the uh, the state or the federal whoever uh, done it and and maybe one of the parents said that I was using them uh, to to perform in front of uh, and and that they didn't approve of it so they actually stopped me from doing it and I, I guarantee you I never charged them a dime I never uh, uh, I'll tell you right now, there's still a bunch of those, uh, we call them kids, but a lot of them is even, in, there's some of them in their 70s, uh, and I can be at Walmart in Scott County right now, and I guarantee you, if they see me, they will come to me, they have, and, and the people that's got them, and it's with them, you know, yeah. They have to, and that, they'll they'll grab them and, and pull them towards me. Yeah, that was a good show. It's a shame that we got a bunch of heathens that don't do something good there, you know. But, uh, well, it, it, this year I might try to get me some some kids to come in here and we're just saying Christmas carols. Well, yeah, bring bring get your best and, and bring them in there. They can't do nothing bad. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure Bill would be glad to have kids come in there. He's a good man. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't think so. In fact, but we had some of the ROTC people from from the high school to come in one year. Uh, I love I love to do that. Now here here uh, the last couple of years, I got to be honest. Uh, my family's illnesses is just um, I, I get so tired, and I have uh, and I don't get out and and run around and try to find out as much as going on as you. And I, I've just got another year and a half or two. Yeah, well, uh, I want to do it till I'm 75. So right now, I'm uh, about 73 and a half years old. So it won't be long. I about eight. Well, well, about 20 more months. I'll be, I'll be out of here. Get about a year and a half on me. I got a birthday coming up in three days. So uh oh. I, but, uh, I just want to commend you for that. Well, I appreciate it very much. For that. Yeah, like you said, anything you can do for special kids, they're all special. But I mean, you know, you know what I mean. It's a, I think it's great. Yeah. Uh, appreciate it's, it. It'll make them happy. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you, buddy. Mr. Henson, if you're watching, I would love to hear that story one more time uh, about blowing the windows out of the church house <laughs> and buckling the road. That would be a uh, 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 I hope we never see or hear of anything like that again. But that was a, I, mean, I remember that story really well. And you wouldn't think that a man that forgets where he's at half the time uh, or what he's going to say next would remember something back 
uh, that a story is told because I laugh so hard that uh, <laughs> but they run back up on the mountain up on a big rock up there I'm pretty sure it was Mr. Henson that, that called me and told me that story but anyway give me a call we'll talk to you about anything you want to talk about we, I've still got about 40 more minutes but you know I don't have to sit here I've, I've done paid for the time and I can go home <laughs> you're on the air Hey, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't me that did that. <clears throat> it wasn't. No. Uh, the uh, I can't remember the gentleman done that, but I, those silver rope falls up there under that road. I don't know whether that created or not, and they refer it about every year or two. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was thinking it was you, but that, they somebody called in and said, "Yeah," and, and they they ran a a, a a fuse way back up. Uh, out from under that the cover, and and it buckled the road, yeah. and, 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 it, and it all been out uh, somewhere. Probably had a drink or two. Goes into the church, and they run them off. So, <laughs> well, that that may be what caused that fault there. There's a fault. Uh, that road. Uh, it may just be a coincidence, I guess. I don't think a shot would last that long, but there's a fault. Uh, uh, that road continually slides off right there. Oh, okay. I had a gentleman one time try to persuade me to take a stick of dynamite up in the top of a big old tree and set it off at Halloween or whatever. And I tried to explain to him if you cut off a charge like that out in the open, you get what's called atmospheric concussion off of it. And you could, uh, it's kind of a weird thing. If it's underground, what if you can get this thing in right close to it, chances are it wouldn't damage. But you could go, if the atmosphere is right, you could go four or five miles down the road and knock wind the lights out. That's what the atmosphere is. Yeah. Uh, on your subject about diesel fuel, uh -huh. that lawsuit, if they take that to court, and all they, they're going to try to argue, uh, about the fuel, the quality of it, and stuff like that, uh -huh. that case will be DOA because the attorney can take that thing apart like you wouldn't believe. Uh, the diesel fuel, I, I haven't read the article you read, uh, spoke of and now read it. They state that the, di that the diesel fuel is contaminated. Uh, the dye that they put into this diesel fuel, well, let me back up and say this. Number two diesel <clears throat> meets a requirement set down by some kind of a something other, but there's a U.S. standard that, that any fuel, not only diesel, gas, whatever, has to meet a certain standard. And they call it number two. <clears throat> the fuel, the off-road fuel and the on-road fuel, you're, uh, and there's two or three other classifications. There's agricultural and then there's heating oil. And these things are all number two fuel, are exactly the same fuel, they just have a different color of dye, you know. Uh -huh. And this dye does not harm the vehicle, it does not affect the, the sulfur content of the fuel. So if they go to court and try to differentiate or call it contaminated due to the fact that it is a different color. Well, no, uh, let me just, uh, the, I think the premises on this is like Mr. Uh, Zawinski said, it's the cost of the fuel. That's, that's correct. But here's, here's where the come back on that. Well, let me finish this thought. Okay. Those excavators back here in this mountain that cost five hundred thousand dollars that are using this off-road fuel. Uh huh. And, and if it was uh, uh, lower grade fuel, they would not run it in. It's like you're if you're running a generator or, or I don't know. There's lots of farm tractors that are probably cost a hundred thousand dollars. Oh yes. That are running on this fuel. So this tells you if you stop and think about it people would not put low grade fuel in this type of equipment uh -huh. okay now the only thing you have to do uh your tank if you're running off-road and on-road off the same premises all you gotta do is just put a label on her that says off-road off-road use only and i'll bet if they check that tank somewhere down there there's a little sign on it or a little something if they ain't they ought to get one on it <laughs> or, that says off-road only uh -huh. Okay, now you go back to the county. County is tax exempt. And if they go to arguing about the ambulances, my bet is that the county.
county all of them ambulances and they're used for what you would call government services. I bet you they do not have privileged tags on them. They've got some kind of a county tag or something like that. Yeah, on. yeah. Okay, that they're going to have a hard time. And well, I back up and say like this: that fuel will not damage an engine. Uh, that, yeah. That is the. Well, I would call it no wives' tale, but... <laughs> well, I, I, like I said, I think Mr. Zawiski was saying, okay, they can purchase that at a uh, off-road fuel, and but was paying on-road fuel, uh, fuel prices, and oh. and the county was paying on... Um, so, uh, I, I don't know. There's implications here of, of uh, all kinds of wrongdoing in this particular... Uh, article in the paper and and, and I, that's where i'm coming from i i just think it i just hope that there's something like you said that uh uh would would clear everybody and and if it's a but there's one thing that i don't see how it could be can clear that hurdle is that mr morton actually fired a guy because he's saying there's wrongdoing going on so if you don't shut up i'm gonna fire you well from the way the paper stated it says Mr. Morton and others. Yes. Okay, when you do that, anytime you add, if you put two people together, you're talking conspiracy. And you're getting into, I don't know, maybe, I don't know whether it be, I know it'd be state, I don't know it'd be federal or not, but anyhow, uh, that. It's, it's, it's serious, whatever. Even the implications that it, that it, would, that it happened is, that's it, a serious charge. That is correct, if that happened. Yes. But, as far as the fuel is concerned, the other part of it, I'm, I, you know, I got a little dog in that race, but as far as the quality of the fuel, it's not hurting. And I, my thinking on it is that every vehicle that it went into had some sort of a government service or county tag on it. And as far as repercussions on it, I never had heard the $10, $10 per gallon thing, but the, what they do, the state has a crew that goes around and what they'll do, if you buy off-road and on-road fuel, they will come into your establishment or whatever and to test your fuel. And all they do is they just take a little, like a medicine drop of thing on it, it's about 30 inches long, and they stick it down in the fuel tank, and they suck the fuel up to this thing, and they look at the cover of it. And if you have colored fuel, in a vehicle that has a license plate on it that is registered, then you're in trouble. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the starting fine is $25,000 if they catch you at that. But uh, if you have a vehicle, I don't care what it is, if it is not registered, you know, to run on the road with a tag, you can run off road fuel in them. Well, you can. But anyhow, that's kind of where I see that part of this thing. I don't, I don't think the quality of the fuel will be an issue, and I think that all the fuel that the county buys probably, they may, my, my bet is, they do not buy tax fuel whatsoever due to the fact it being a tax exempt entity. Yeah. I say everything they buy for road use is tax free anyhow. Right. But now, if they can prove that they were paying the road tax that's what it is, it's highway tax. But that would be counterproductive. Yeah. Uh, that, that's getting out there. And it'll be interesting to see. Personally, myself, if I was betting on it, I'd say this thing won't go anywhere as far as the fuel is concerned. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. But anyhow, yeah, took up a lot of time. Appreciate your call, buddy. I appreciate it. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Thank you. You're on the air. I, I would just be curious, uh, uh, I know me and his, Mr. Henson both can't be on at the same time, but if a uh, uh, warranty state, you know, uh, on a vehicle, you know, but uh, again, yeah, that, that isn't even the concern of, of uh, to me about it. The concern of it to me is being a taxpayer and paying a, a, a premium price and not getting what you're paying for. Right. You're paying for a low grade price. So there's a lot of money there. If you oh. bet your hind in that I mean it's a gonna be a major, major issue. 
I mean, there is not without it. If this right here don't fly, you need to get all four corners of the county and wrap it up and throw it in the garbage. <laughs> because if it, if it turns out that this, this way it goes, when? Now, I'm telling you, if this, if this right here don't stick, if it don't fit, if they quit, this shit's over. Over. You might as well give this county goodbye. So appreciate that's just a plain and simple about it. Appreciate so, your call. Have a safe trip home, buddy. Thank you. You're on the air. Yeah, man, this is Mike Simmons again. Uh, this is Mike Simmons again. Go ahead. And Mr. Mr. R. L. Uh, Hanson is, is right, but once again, it's not an issue uh, whether whether uh, they end up in uh, that fuel, that particular fuel, in uh, ambulances. It's a, it's an issue, like you said, that county paid. County was billed for a premium fuel. County got second grade fuel. And uh, another issue arises with the fact that county was sold second grade fuel, diet fuel, when Rice Oil allegedly knew that they were putting member, I mean, diet fuel in the regular tanks, which is illegal according to the state of Tennessee. Right. That is the issue. And I bought an RL handsome nose, I bought thousands of dollars of concrete, 4,500 PSI from him about two years ago. And by golly, I hope he didn't sell me 2,000 PSI concrete. <laughs> I know he didn't because he's an honest, good businessman. Oh. I've dealt with him before. So that's all I have to say. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, it's break time. We'll be back out of these words from our sponsors. You know, I talked with a lot of people this week that had that Medicare plan that was going away, and I ended up talking to them a little bit, and I found out that they got the QMB. You know, the little, that's a pink cardboard card that pays your co-pays when you go to your doctor. That pink cardboard card is will entitle you to get the extra benefits you hear me talk so much about. And I've run across several people this week that got into their wallet, and lo and behold, they pulled out one of those. And I said, aha, did you know with the pink QMB card in Campbell County, you can get your dental and your vision catalog and a catalog to help you with your over-the-counter products at no cost. And that dental coverage is comprehensive. It's not just cleanings and checkups. Why do my customers choose Husqvarna Power Equipment? And that's easy, because my landscaping crew has to rely on a durable product. I need the performance and quality that Husqvarna provides. And the innovative products that help me move on with my day. For maintenance parts or accessories, I don't have to go far. I know my Husqvarna dealer is right around the corner. Make the impossible possible and visit a Husqvarna dealer near you. Visit your local Husqvarna dealer or go to Husqvarna.com for more information. Ray's Eggs has a friendly service with a family environment. With that country kick, it's a family owned with delicious food. Offering breakfast, lunch, supper all day long, and great steaks, wonderful salmon. Also, for that sweet tooth, pies, and much more. For the kids, games, daily specials, dine and carry out. Call 423 569 3354. Call Ray's Eggs today. Riggs Drugs has been a part of Campbell County for generation after generation, serving our friends and neighbors. And now we have redesigned our store to better serve you. It's the same knowledgeable and friendly staff, but a new look and new technology to ensure you get your prescriptions fast. We've always got you covered from prescriptions to all your home health needs. We've always been more than a pharmacy, still offering a huge selection of gifts and decor here at the new and improved Riggs Drugs. Hi, I'm Ann Love with Linda Kilgore State Farm Agency. I have worked in the insurance and financial services industry for over 20 years, formerly with the John R. W. Brown Agency. I'm a native Campbell County and enjoy helping people with their insurance needs. Stop by and see me for all your insurance needs. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. If you live for the outdoors, there's a Polaris to match your passion. 
Confident, comfortable, capable. That's Ace. With a solo cockpit, automotive controls, independent suspension, all-wheel drive, and up to 45 horses of fuel-injected power. Calling it revolutionary would be an understatement. Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. Okay, we're back again, like I said, folks, and, and, and again, Roms, if you haven't been down our behind Long John Silver, go down and just take a look, and True Value Homes, uh, if, you, if you're on your way to True Value Homes, or over to uh, Ray Zach's, or, or over to Tennessee Outdoors, or Value Mart, all those people that uh, uh, advertise with me over in Scott County, stop by and tell them. Hey, and, and I greatly appreciate it. You're on the air. I'm over at a Stony Fork that's still on Halloween. They still do uh, cut down the trees. They do? Yeah. Uh, well, well. That's the road. Uh, do you live over there? I uh, know, but uh, my daddy told me about it. Oh, your daddy told you about it? How old are you? He told me about it. How old are you? I'm ten. Ten? Yeah. Oh, you're, uh, uh, my little grandson, he's nine. Boy, he likes Halloween. Does you, do you? Yeah. Okay. But you don't have to do all them things and cut down trees and stuff like that, do you? You have a good time without doing that. Did, did you go to tr Trunk or Treat? Uh, I went to a few of them. Oh, oh okay. Well, I guess you got a lot of candy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my little old grandson, he's told me some papa. I asked him if he wanted to go out and eat uh, uh, the next day. Uh, he said no. He said, I've ate so much candy, I don't need to eat nothing for a while. <laughs> I appreciate your call. Thank you. Bye bye. So, anyway, uh, we won't have a, no school uh, uh, Wednesday uh, in Scott County. I don't know about over here, but there's not any school. And, you know, the. the uh, Republicans have uh, their uh, debate tomorrow night, and uh, I honestly, and, and I'm being honest, I think Hillary has already wrapped hers up. I don't, I, but I really do. But I don't have a clue. I don't think that uh, uh, Donald Trump. I, I don't think that. He can maintain. I still don't think he can maintain. Uh, I, I, but if he does, I think it would be easy to beat in the general election. Uh, and uh, Ben Carson, they are ripping him now uh, about things that happened 50 years ago. Uh, I would hate to have to sit down and and go in front of a judge or or my God, and, and try to remember all the things exactly the way they happened uh, 50 years ago with me. Uh, there's no way. And and Rubio, uh, they're going after him. Uh, he says he can explain all this, and, and the numbers I've seen on the computer the other day is that he had, had and just in a week or so, he'd run up a $19,000 bill on the Republican Party in Florida, but now they're saying that that was not true, that they've analyzed it and done some other stuff. So they, they're going after each other. And and tomorrow night, they will have a, another debate. Uh, and honest, the, the one person that I, I think could win the election if he got into the general election is Kasich from Ohio. And the reason I say that is, you know, he worked with Bill Clinton and uh, Newt Gingrich and they balanced the budget. And whenever uh, Kasich went to Ohio and ran for governor, uh, after the first four or five months, they was ready to impeach him to get rid of him. And then things started getting better because of his programs. And then uh, he ran the second time and won and got 65% of the vote. Well, if he wants to win that, 
and you all know that I'm for Hillary, and I don't know how that. Uh, you have to have Ohio to get to be president of the United States. In the last 10 uh, presidential elections, uh, ever how Ohio goes, that's the way it goes. And if they will go, Kasich wants to get the, the nomination, uh, there it goes. So anyway, I, I'd like to hear from some of you. I know it, you all got opinions on that, and uh, especially some of my just my regular uh, callers all the time. Uh, if if who if and, and give me a, a reason why uh, that you think would be the best chance to win uh, president of the United States. Tell me why. Why is uh, uh, some of them just keep keep coming and keep coming? And does any of you out there believe that Jeb Bush will still still get the nomination? Why is Huckleberry okay, uh, and Chris Christie's? Why they, why don't some of them quit? Let three or four of them uh, spar it out, fight it out. But as long as you've got twelve or fourteen in there, what is it now? It's it's at least twelve still still running. Uh, and, and a two-hour debate don't do nothing. They just got two or three questions. And you don't have any idea how, which way they're going because they don't have enough time to talk. So I would like to hear some of you, uh, some of your thoughts on that. At least one or two. Then I'll get out of here and go home. Because I'll, I'll be. Uh, I was telling someone tonight. They said that they had a had the flu, and they they didn't feel good. Well, I woke up this morning with a dying headache. I mean, my head was cracking, and it hadn't it it's it slowed down. It hadn't quit. That's the reason why uh, I don't, I hope it's not my uh, sugar, but I couldn't see that paper a while ago to actually read it. And then finally, I, uh, I don't know what was going on, but I absolutely could not see it. And could, but now I can look at it and see it just fine. But anyway. Uh, that's just the way things go, I guess. And we get old, and, and winter time's coming on, and, and uh, basketball season, high school basketball. I like high school basketball, and uh, and I'm not really crazy about uh, college basketball. I watch Tennessee play some. I don't. I won't watch the whole game, but high school and elementary ball, I like. Okay, don't let anybody. There any other issues that anybody wants to talk about? If I can find Honeybee, I'll go home. Are you in there, Honeybee? No, she's in the far room. Whenever I'm ready to go home, she's in the far room working. That girl works all the time. But anyway, my sponsors, Tennessee Outdoors and True Value Home, Ron's Golf Carts, and here, okay, yeah, here's somebody who will uh, argue with me. You want to philosophize a lot? Yes. Let me uh, <clears throat> say something just dawned on me on this fuel situation. <clears throat> I heard the mate mention that on the invoice it states number two diesel, uh -huh. number, six, number two fuel. That's what uh, uh, Zawinski is saying it is. Well, I guarantee you it's number two fuel, but how uh, it, it don't make a lot of sense, but <clears throat> what, what we call number one fuel, number one fuel oil, is kerosene. And number two fuel oil is diesel fuel. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And you're not going to run number one kerosene in engines of today. I think years and years ago, if you go back far enough, they may have run a little on kerosene. Well, now, so, actually, the first first uh, 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 motors was was run on kerosene. Okay, now, well, you know, this is useless trivia, but some of the old diesels used to start on gasoline, and then they'd switch them over to diesel once you got them fired up. Uh-huh. Uh, but on the diesel fuel, the number two diesel is the same thing that people used to heat houses with, what's called uh, heating oil. Uh-huh. Now, some of them do use number one. The kerosene. 
and it all has to do with a little gearing the orifice and so forth that you run it through. Uh -huh. But anyhow, on number two diesel, like I say, uh, if you just stop and think about it, it's a premium fuel, number two is, because they're running the big machines, they're running equipment that costs far more than the ambulances do. And, I don't know, I, there's probably some other useless trivia about it, but uh, that may be what they're looking at. If they're looking at that invoice, and all they're doing is going through the fact that it says number two diesel, that's not, that number two doesn't have anything to do with the quality of it, it's just a classification. Oh, okay. Like 10 w 40 oil or yeah. whatever you want to call it, it's classification. Yeah. Well, you, you, I'd say you buy a bunch of it, you should know. I sniffed a lot of them cubes. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, now, uh, who do you think might get the nomination on the Republican side? It would appear right Not who you hope, but who you so, think. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that as far as the nomination is, it'd be Dr. Carson. And even though he has the points, uh, right now, I think he's the only one that he's actually running ahead of Hillary right now. Okay. Okay. Well, let, uh, I got a call from Mr. Zewinski. Let me get that and see what we talk about this tool. Uh, okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. You're on the air. I probably misspoke, and when I referred to number one and number two, what I meant by number one, it was non di diesel number two as a di diesel uh, the, what i meant by number two as inferior qua quality law however if mr henson want i can text him fax him email him law is very very clear you cannot run die diesel in any licensed vehicle in the state of tennessee as a matter of fact you cannot run die diesel in any state in the united states let's go a little bit farther you cannot run any die diesel in canada the law is clear so when you allegedly are being invoiced for non die diesel how can you put when it's illegal to put die diesel in non i mean in, in Di diesel in regular diesel tanks. It is illegal. Tennessee code annotated is clear. You cannot, you're not allowed, and if you're doing this knowingly, if you're selling to any entity, any private individual, die diesel, and you are putting in non die tanks, it is illegal. It's a criminal offense, allegedly according to DCA. Okay, now here's another thing. Uh, uh, that died fuel, even if it, uh, your, your buses and stuff, it's, died fuel is not meant for road, uh, to be used on the highway. And so those buses run on the highway to take those kids to school. Appreciate your call. So, anyway, it's, it's, it's going to be, a. uh, uh I don't know. It's it, it, it's 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 a mess, and let's just put it that way. There's definitely there's a lot of things in that particular uh, issue here, and and there's, there's a lot of things that could come out of it, and and it could it could be a, a lot worse than what we are talking about, or it could be a lot more simpler than what we're talking about. But you know, you know, and, and I know, just listening to the phone calls this this season and listening to this that there's already been some major, major concerns over it because you're going to have business that will not sell Mr. Uh, uh, Zawinski's paper anymore. So there's, there's definitely already some, uh, I guess, effects being uh, taken place from this issue. So, in fact, I'm going to, I usually leave my paper every week for uh, honeybee but I'm taking this paper home with me <laughs> and all I can say is it's just what I've hear, heard you know and you're on the air hey good evening again okay uh, I finally I see what Mr. Sawinski is saying uh, and, and I believe basically I said the same thing uh, what he's speaking to you now what he's speaking to the to the uh, the user, I was speaking to the quality of fuel. Yeah. I see where he's coming back to 
uh, I did, was not aware. Are, are you saying or are they saying that the school buses fuel at the county garage out of the county's fuel? It, 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 that's uh, basically what I'm understanding that this is this fuel is going to the county garage for fueling the vehicles. Okay, but uh, whenever we say fueling the vehicles, we're talking about county vehicles. But now uh, I keep hearing something in there about school buses or the school buses. Well, I, I, you know the school buses do go to those that uh, that that fuel plate and and, and uh, fuel up. Well, I wasn't aware of that. I thought that the school operate or the bus operators provided their own fuel. Well, they the thing about it is that they have they pay for it because uh, it's in their contract. Uh, I think, uh, uh, and because I've seen here, uh, you know, a few years back, that they said they couldn't run anymore unless they got an increase in fuel because they was having to pay two dollars and they they the contract said that they was paying uh, two dollars a gallon or I believe it was and. And now the prices went up to where they're having to pay two seventy four or something like that. And it went up almost one third, and they couldn't operate on that. And that's where they and they were getting their uh, fuel from the county. Well, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, that that's interesting. Uh, I'm sure that some of the buses are not are probably gas powered yet. I possibly I'm not sure. Oh, I'd say they are, but and then the because what make me would think that. That the uh, uh, that, that that oil is uh, distributed through the Camel County Highway Department. Well, that's, that's a new one to me. That would that's, be interesting to find out. If yeah, it says right here: off-road diesel fuel has been sold through Rice Oil Company Incorporated distribution through the Camel County Highway Department. Okay. If uh, anyhow, there's all sorts of little things we could discuss on that. But uh, I've lost my chain of thought. But it's interesting if we could find out. Here's, here's where I'm coming from. If we could find out if the school buses get their fuel through the county garage, and if they pay for it uh, through the county, that's well. I think that they feel complicated. Well, I think that most of these things are set up now, uh, but it. Uh, they have to have a, a fuel card and it's just like a credit card right. and, it, and that's how they charge it back to their department okay i see what you're saying okay now wait a minute now if it charges it back to the department then that states that the school department is paying for the school bus fuel then if no no whenever they fill up what well, they they send that they're this it's a fuel that, and okay. what that's that lets the uh, the county department actually sent a bill to the bus drivers. Okay, and then the, <clears throat> what we're saying then basically is that the school bus operators, then that is deducted from their pay by the school department. Would that be correct? Or? Uh, I, I don't know how they do it. Either they send them a bill and they pay them back or it's deducted from, I don't know exactly how it's done. Because yeah. they, uh, they do have a, they have a budget for fuel. That, that it gets complicated. Yeah. Appreciate you call, buddy. I see where Mr. Swinsky is coming from. <clears throat> if they're uh, if they're paying, if the county and I don't see for some reason I haven't heard any prices as far as the fuel is concerned. No, no prices are being quoted because prices change so much. Oh yeah. But back during when this price thing was going crazy, going up and whatever, when we got a shipment of fuel in, the driver the, there was no price on the invoice. And when the driver got to the destination and hooked his lines up, and when he started to pump, when he started to offload, then he called in for the price because the price would change that quick. I know what you're not fully here. Yeah. I, time you all have a safe trip. Thank you, buddy. Bye bye. Yeah. You're on the air. Well, if you this uh, to to make something a little clearer for Mr. Hanson, say we take all the school buses out of the equation, don't even say no school buses, how many gravel trucks does Campbell County run eight hours a day, five days a week, just gravel trucks? If you're just going to say gravel trucks long, I wonder how much fuel, just gravel, don't even say no ambulances, no buses, just how many gravel trucks they run a day and how much fuel they burn per day. I wonder how much it'd be. I, I'd say it'd be astronomical, wouldn't you? Oh, 
the, I guarantee you that the amount of fuel that's used uh, per week, it, 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 <laughs> Ooh. I, well, I, that's what I'm saying, I'm, because I want to, to make sure, I mean, that way, like what I say, to take the buses away and take the ambulances away. Just the county road department, just the road department. You take just this, and I say that adds up to a chunk of change on a weekly basis. Uh, appreciate yeah, you. Say, Trip Hall, appreciate your show. You the man, brother. Talk to you later. See you, buddy. Bye-bye. Okay, and don't forget, watch Wednesday, or Jerry... He'll be here Wednesday. And you there now, honeybee? Yeah. Okay, folks. Let me tell you. Uh, True Value Homes, Tennessee Outdoors, Ron's Golf Park, uh, bring you tonight's show and, and every week. Well, I got one more here. Somebody's calling me. Let me get it. You're on the air. I don't know the Campbell County School Bus gets through the county. I don't know for sure. Uh, I just know that whenever they were having uh, problems with the, uh, uh, and they might not, they might not none of them be diesel. I don't know, uh, but whenever they were having a, a price w uh, with the uh, going from two dollars to two seventy four stuff like that, they were they were saying we cannot drive and will not drive without an increase in our uh, contract. That's all I know, and I don't like you said. I don't know if they get their where they get their gas or. I am an owner of the Campbell County School Bus, and we do not fill up through the county. Oh, okay. Appreciate your call, thank you. and thank you very much, ma'am. Well, here's another one. You're on the air. Hey, buddy, that's what I was going to tell you. The school buses don't fill up through the county. Uh huh. Uh, and I think last time I checked, the fuel. Uh, budget amount is between 1.6 and 1.8 million per year for the whole county for every for every every county vehicle. Uh huh. One, well, I think that's right. That includes sheriff's department, road department, all the equipment, all of them. I think it's 1.6, 1.8 million per year just for fuel. And just to say that the, uh, 500,000 that went to uh, diesel operated vehicles. Uh, that can be that can be a cool hunk, hunk of change. It, it is. <laughs> well, it'll be interesting to see how Mr. Sheckles is. Uh, uh, is uh, I didn't get out of the county commission meeting until about nine o'clock. So it'd be interesting to see how Mr. Sheckles' is, lawsuit is going to come out. There's some information there that he's alleged, and I had no idea that he had alleged all that stuff. But uh, you know, I did hear you say earlier you'd like to hear uh, Mayor Morton's uh, comments about it. And of course, you know Mayor. If there's a lawsuit, he's not going to comment about right. it. Right. You know, but uh, I'm pretty sure, Ariel, 1.6 to 1.8 million is the fuel budget for the whole county for the year. Yeah. So that's pretty steep. That's pretty steep. So, well, well I, 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 now, everybody, I told everybody to make sure they tune in to you uh, Wednesday night because I know you'll dig into this. It's going to be a dandy Wednesday night. We're going to have it. Mr. Fletcher is going to be on with me. Uh, we are going to have a dandy show Wednesday night. Okay, buddy. Okay, appreciate it, buddy. Good night. Thank you, bye. Hey, good night, everybody. I'll see you all next week. Hey, this is Mark Bell.